Good morning. Good morning from the Bullock County Historical Society and also from our home, The Hideaway, on Historic Savannah Avenue. Today we're going to talk about a very famous lady that hails from Bullock County. On February the 1st, 1898, Leela Daltrey Denmark was welcomed to this world by Alice and Ella B. Daltrey in Portal, Georgia. We know her today as Dr. Leela Daltrey Denmark, a petite, five-foot, soft-spoken, widely admired pediatrician. Her early years were spent with her parents and 12 siblings on her grandmother Betty Hendricks' farm on the outskirts of Portal. She was always nurturing puny animals, from baby kittens to chicks, and she wanted to heal things and made up salves and medicines to treat the sick farm animals. As a small child, Leela began learning to sew her own clothes, a practice she would continue all her life. She told the story that her first store-bought dress was for her wedding. In 1908, Portal had a cotton gin, several mercantile stores, two doctors, a drugstore, a bank, and a school. Leela's father, Ellerby Daltrey, helped lay out the town, and he became its first mayor. He served in this capacity for decades. Leela walked a total of five miles to and from the Bradwell School, which was in Bullock County in grades one through six. From seventh through tenth grades, she attended class in a school that met in rooms above the old Portal Bank. Then she boarded at the first district A&M school in nearby Statesboro. We all know that that became our Georgia Southern. Leela went on to Bessie Tiff College in Forsyth, a small Baptist women's school. This was during the Spanish influenza pandemic that killed an estimated 40 million worldwide. After finishing school, Leela taught school in Ackworth and in Claxton. This is when she found out her real calling was in medicine. She persuaded the admissions committee to let her uh, begin studying at the University of Georgia Medical School. She was the only female in the class of 50. She talked to the dean at Emory and he told her, if we ever have a woman in medical school, we'll have two schools. We'll never mix women and men in medical school. She graduated from the University of Georgia Medical School in 1928. She then married Eustace Denmark, her childhood friend from Portal. They had been engaged for eight years. The young couple moved to Atlanta, and she was the first intern at the new Eggleston Children's Hospital. She began volunteering at the Central Presbyterian Church Baby Clinic, a service she continued once a week for more than 50 years. In the early 1930s, Dr. Denmark began researching a vaccine to protect children against the often fatal illness of whooping cough after an epidemic claimed a number of her patients. She wrote a letter to the pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly with an idea for the vaccine. This entire process took four years. She is credited with being the co-developer of the vaccine to cure, or should I say prevent, the spread of the whooping cough. Dr. Denmark also wrote a book, Every Child Should Have a Chance, and it was published in 1972. Dr. Denmark continued in her profession until she retired in 2001 at the age of 103. She died on April the 1st, 2012, at the age of 114 years and 60 days. 
Thank you, Dr. Denmark, for all you did for the United States and for global cures. We're proud to have you as a board. Bye.